China has just achieved a technological breakthrough that could reshape the future of space exploration, successfully testing an inflatable space capsule aboard the Shijian 19 satellite. This isn't merely another step forward in space technology, it's a giant leap that could revolutionize how we build habitats in space. Imagine compact modules launching into orbit and then expanding into spacious living quarters or laboratories. In this video, we'll uncover the details of this groundbreaking technology and discuss why this inflatable capsule could be a game changer for missions to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Let's dive into what makes this inflatable capsule so extraordinary. The capsule is a multifunctional, sealed structure crafted from advanced flexible composite materials. During launch, it's compressed and folded into a compact form, optimizing space and weight on the rocket. Once it reaches orbit, it undergoes a remarkable transformation it unlocks, unfolds, and inflates into a sizable habitat. This design is revolutionary for several reasons. First, the use of flexible composite materials allows the capsule to be lightweight, yet incredibly durable, essential for surviving the harsh conditions of space. The flexible skin can withstand extreme temperatures, radiation, and micrometeoroid impacts. According to the China Academy of Space Technology cast, the capsule boasts a high folding efficiency, meaning it can be packed down to a fraction of its expanded size without compromising structural integrity. The technology addresses a significant challenge in space exploration launching large structures into orbit is costly and technically demanding due to weight and volume constraints. By reducing the size and weight of the habitat during launch, rockets can carry more equipment or require less fuel, making missions more efficient and cost-effective. Moreover, the inflatable capsule isn't just a theoretical concept it has been rigorously tested. Before launch, it underwent extensive ground-based evaluations, including tests for air tightness, debris impact resistance, extreme pressure conditions, vibration, and thermal vacuum environments. These tests ensured that the capsule could withstand the rigors of launch and operation in space. Once in orbit aboard the Shijin-19 satellite, the capsule demonstrated its capabilities flawlessly. It successfully executed all critical actions unlocking, inflating, unfolding, and maintaining internal pressure. Key performance indicators such as structural integrity, air tightness, and interior temperature stability met or exceeded expectations. Understanding the significance of the inflatable capsule requires a closer look at the Shijian 19 mission itself. Launched on September 27 from the Jiquan Satellite Launch Center aboard a Long March 2D rocket, the Shijian 19 satellite is part of a new generation of high performance, reusable, retrievable space test platforms developed by CAST. Weighing approximately 3,500 kilograms, the satellite was designed for short duration missions lasting about two weeks. During its time in orbit before returning to Earth on October 10, Shijian 19 carried a variety of payloads and experiments. These included irradiation experiments on staple and industrial crops aimed at inducing beneficial mutations, microbial specimen studies, and tests of other space technologies. The inclusion of the inflatable capsule was one of the mission's most significant objectives. The satellite provided an ideal environment to test the capsule's deployment and performance in the actual conditions it would face during space missions. The successful deployment of the capsule involved a series of meticulously planned steps the capsule unlocked from its compressed state, unfolded its flexible skin, and inflated to form a sealed habitat, all while maintaining structural integrity and internal environmental stability. The mission also showcased China's advancements in spacecraft design and retrieval capabilities. The ability to return payloads to Earth is a crucial aspect of space research, allowing scientists to analyze materials and experiments conducted in microgravity. The recoverable portion of the Shijian spacecraft can carry between 500 to 600 kilograms of payload back to Earth, significantly enhancing China's capacity for conducting and benefiting from space-based research. By integrating the inflatable capsule test into the Shijian 19 mission, China not only demonstrated the capsule's feasibility, but also highlighted its ability to conduct complex missions involving multiple objectives. This mission marks a milestone in China's space program, showcasing both technological prowess and strategic planning in advancing space exploration capabilities. 
Moreover, the success of the Shijian 19 mission reflects China's growing expertise in reusable and retrievable spacecraft technology. This aligns with global trends emphasizing sustainability and cost-effectiveness in space missions. The ability to reuse spacecraft and return payloads safely enhances the overall efficiency of space exploration efforts. So why is this inflatable capsule such a monumental development? And what does it mean for the future of space exploration? The implications are vast, affecting everything from space station construction to manned lunar and Martian missions. Firstly, the technology offers a practical solution for expanding existing space habitats. China has expressed intentions to enlarge its Tiangong space station, and the inflatable capsule could play a pivotal role in this expansion. By adding inflatable modules, the station could significantly increase its habitable volume without the need for multiple heavy launches. This modularity and scalability make it easier to adapt the station for various missions, whether they involve scientific research, international collaboration, or long-duration human habitation. Secondly, the inflatable capsule technology is a game-changer for deep space missions. Transporting large, rigid structures to the Moon or Mars is incredibly resource-intensive. Inflatable habitats provide a lightweight alternative that can be compactly stowed during transit and then deployed upon arrival. This efficiency could reduce mission costs and complexities, making manned missions to other celestial bodies more feasible. Moreover, the success of this technology positions China as a significant player in the field of advanced space habitats. While other countries and companies, such as NASA with its Transhab concept and private firms like Bigelow Aerospace, have explored inflatable modules, China's successful in-orbit test demonstrates its capability to innovate and implement complex technologies independently. The inflatable capsule also has implications for commercial space endeavors. As companies worldwide plan for space tourism and commercial space stations, the need for efficient, expandable habitats becomes increasingly important. China's advancements could contribute to global efforts in this area, potentially leading to international partnerships or competition that drives further innovation. Additionally, this technology addresses the fundamental challenges of sustaining human life in space. Larger, more comfortable habitats improve the quality of life for astronauts, which is crucial for the success of long-duration missions. The ability to create spacious living and working environments can enhance crew morale, productivity, and overall mission success rates. The inflatable capsule could have applications beyond human habitation. It could serve as storage facilities, laboratories, or even greenhouses for growing food in space. The versatility of this technology makes it a valuable asset in various mission profiles. In this video, we have learned about China's groundbreaking inflatable space capsule and how it could revolutionize space exploration. We've explored the innovative design of the capsule its successful deployment during the Shijian 19 mission, and the far-reaching implications for future space stations and deep space missions. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.